Good morning, Okinawa. Damn, what a difference it makes when the weather's nice. So welcome to today's video and uh, I guess this is kind of the main reason why we came down to Okinawa. And we are moments away from driving around the corner here and seeing my new car purchase. I would not have been able to get this car if it wasn't for Jason because he found it, he got in contact with the owner, put us all in contact and stuff like that so that we could get the paperwork all organized so that we could get this. And uh, it's, I mean, I don't know what else to describe it as, but for me, it's an absolute steal. It's an absolute bargain. It's like a chance of a lifetime, um, but Let's just shut up and show you the car. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's oh, go. Oh man. It's literally right oh, around the corner, right? <laughs> yeah, it's right around the corner. I don't think you're ready. You don't think I'm ready for this? Oh, oh no. Uh, is it really here? Guys, yeah, look, it's, look at this. It's, it's really We're like here. in the middle of nowhere, up the top of some mountain here. All right, all right, wait for it, wait for it. Oh my God, it's gone. No, I'm kidding. It not be. <laughs> Dude. What the hell? And like there's JZX 100s and Hachirokus there. Your new car. It looks epic. <laughs> I thought it was going to look worse. Yeah, let me park right over here. Okay, wow. All right. Um, I'm not concerned. <laughs> I'm, I'm not concerned about this at all. I'm really not. I'm really excited about this. I was a little bit worried about the condition of it when I saw pictures. You were but panicking on the drive I, out here. I, I was a little bit, a little bit, but... It looks really good. Oh. Before I show you guys the car, let me just show you where it is. Like the view and everything is mind blowing. It's literally like on the top of this cliff here, overlooking the ocean here at Okinawa. How insanely beautiful is that? Absolutely ridiculous. That this is here and then literally around the corner there is the car that we're picking up today. This is insane. I can't believe, so there used to be a shop here and we'll get into the story of that in a bit, but this is just insane. Okinawa is just like an entirely different world. I can't believe this is still Japan. Yeah. Feels like I'm in Hawaii or something. All right, well, let's walk over here and show you what we've picked up. I don't think you're ready for this. Honestly, I don't think I am either, but here is my new S15 Silvia. So we've gone and done this again, but for a very specific reason. And I'm sure some of you with a keen eye know that there's some really good stuff on this car and it just keeps getting better. There are things that you didn't see in that B-roll that are gonna blow your mind. And uh, I, I just have to say a massive thank you to Jason you. once again. Um, he uploaded a video on this on his channel. I'm gonna link it down in the description. Go give him some love. He's kind of like the Okinawan version of me so like I'm in the mainland I do all the JDM stuff there he does all the JDM stuff here um, so yeah he's, he's been killing it out here he's kind of like a local celeb but um, yeah he did a video on this he premiered it and a bunch of you guys that watch my channel were like bro hit up Summit, hit up Summit, and yeah. that's what he did he messaged me we've been in contact for a while now yeah, yeah. since like 2019 mm -hmm. like auto salon or something so it was just like a no-brainer for me and you guys know I've been looking for another S chassis for a very long time um, I want to have another more like practice focused car uh, for Mayhan and things like that, as well as I need another S15 chassis yeah. for things when I want to get into FD and stuff in the future. I need to have like a competition specific car. And um, well, this looks perfect yeah. for it. Um, we need to talk about the story on this car because it's do. kind of controversial. We do. Some of you guys can probably tell that this is an old shop here. And uh, unfortunately, I wish this had a better story to it. 
but this particular shop, what's it called, Trinity Works? Trinity Works, Trinity Auto Works, something, something, something like line. that. Yeah, yeah. Um, and a lot of these other cars you see here are other customers' cars that just never got worked you see the ones on. Down here too? Yeah, when There's we drove in, down here. it's like a Hachiroku and stuff here. So, I mean, do you want to just like tell us the story of this shop and how this car came to be here before we go look at it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the Sylvia S15 you, you see over here used to be a Spec S with an SR20 DE non-turbo model. The owner had swapped it to a DET, put a lot of money, a lot of good parts in that car. Even used to have a Rocket Bunny Aero kit on yeah, it, right? Yeah, it, ro it had a Rocket Bunny yeah. Aero kit. As you guys can see, the fenders are cut. The car was sold to a good friend of mine and then he brought it to this shop here to get a lot of work done uh, while he was off island. He was gone from Okinawa. And then somewhere along the lines, that shop, or excuse me, that car was drifted, some engine issues, the car sat, and then at some point the owner closed down the shop, left, and from what I've been told, he's in mainland Japan and the Sylvie's been sitting here for about two years yeah. now. And I'm back on island, I'm out here for a little while, and I reach out to my buddy. I was like, hey man, let me help you with your car. And then I posted the video. A lot of you guys DM me on Instagram and were like, hey, Sam it. I was like, perfect idea. Reach out and then here you are. So we're trying to make it happen. Trying to, trying to save that car. This is my buddy. That was his dream car. And if it wasn't for you yeah. and the coordination right now, that car would sit out here and probably rot away for the next however many years. So yeah. we're doing, doing a justice over we're, here. We're trying to save a car and get it back up to what it was supposed to do. Plus also, I mean, it's like a no brainer for me. Like that's just yeah. exactly what I needed. Oh, yeah. So I'm hyped. But if we didn't intervene, this is what would have happened to it. Just like these cars. And these are all very similar stories. Um, you know, these people brought their cars to this shop. They paid money for work to get done. The shop closed down and never did any of the work. Yeah, and the owners were already and off the, island. Yeah, the owners run off. He's off island on the mainland somewhere. Um, Look, we don't know if this is all like rumor like, or true or anything, but the customers like that have owned these cars, especially the one that owned that S15, because we had to get the paperwork all organized and stuff. He told us his side of the story and we've had multiple other customers of these cars tell us their side of the story and it's all very similar. So while I don't like, I don't want to talk crap about a particular person or anything, we're not yeah, going to mention names or anything, but yeah. um, you know, these situations happen and it really sucks. Like there's a really nice JZX100 Cresta there. There's a Hachiroku. Um, JZX90, and then, and yeah, then the you GTST. saw the 33, the GTST up and there. The JZX100 mm -hmm. around the corner. Yeah, yeah, like, and there's just parts everywhere. There's this clean 180 up here at the entrance of the shop, and there's a, you know, bunch of parts just laid out everywhere. It, it, it's weird because, like, for a shop that's supposed to be closed down, it just looks like... They're so, closed for the weekend. They just closed for the weekend, yeah. Like, someone literally just was like, I can't do this anymore, and yeeted out of here. Like... There's just random stuff everywhere. Like there's just a seat sitting out in the open. There's still parts cleaner cans and air conditioning gas cans all sitting here. There's just a thing thrown over like some engines there and there's a big turbo sitting down there. Like it doesn't make sense. It looks like someone just was like, I can't deal with this anymore. Took the money and ran kind of thing. So it's super weird. Um, dude, look at that chaser right there, man. I want to take all these cars, man, but what we do have is all the paperwork, all the title, everything. And uh, I'm gonna talk to the owner and see if he's okay with me letting you guys know how much I'm paying for this car. Cause I think it just tells a story and it's, it'll make it so much cooler. So probably by the end of this video, I'll uh, know about that and I'll let you guys know the cost of everything. But let's have a look at this thing. So right off the bat, this is Okinawa. Rust is an issue here. I know that there is gonna be some rust problems on here. I know that where these fenders and stuff were cut, and seal that with silicon that there's going to be rust and surface rust flaking off at the edges here right so first of all i know that that's going to be an issue and i'm okay with that like i said this car's going to get cut up and turn into more of like a practice focused car so i'm okay with this this is easy we can spray some stuff on there to treat it convert it seal it done i'm not going to cut it out replace it unless there's a big hole somewhere but from everything that we've looked at on the car it looks really good the main rust is where they cut the fenders for the rocket bunny kit and I guess we should talk about the Rocket Bunny kit too, because that's also another sad story. Yeah, yeah. So before this guy did a runner, someone else on base who now has a Rocket Bunny kit on their S15. Somewhere. 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 Yeah. So a, a guy reached out to my buddy and was like, hey man, I saw your S15. The Rocket Bunny kit is gone. So long story short, a guy was sold this Rocket Bunny kit from the shop owner 
while my buddy's car was sitting here. Yeah. Right before he left. So the guy was like, oh, I need some quick cash or something. Probably. And this guy was like, yo, I got a, I got a Rocket Bunny Aero kit for you. Yeah. Thousand bucks or thousand something. Thousand bucks, something like that. Like, and then he came out here and ripped the thing off. And front bumper, rear bumper, yeah. front and rear fenders, the whole kit, the whole rocket bunny. And sold kit. it to him for a grand. And then, yeah. So my friend uh, got reached out to from the guy who bought the rocket bunny kit and was like, "Hey, the the guy said he had a kit, and I was looking for one. Sold it to me, and I didn't know it was yours. So yeah, kind of kind of shady, if you ask me. Yeah, not good business practice. Um, and in a lot of the sense, it's kind of like theft. It, it kind of is, yeah. yeah. So a lot of dodgy stuff yeah. happened with this shop and this car, but um, yeah, we're obviously fixing that. So yeah, the Rocket Bunny kit was technically stolen. Um, and like the whole engine, apparently the engine blew or something's wrong with the engine. We're gonna investigate that later on. We'll work out what's wrong with it. But apparently um, while the owner of this car was off the island mm -hmm. and the car was here waiting to get worked on, uh, the shop was doing an event at the mm -hmm. track and was like, hey, can we use your car for promotional purposes and just put it on display? Yeah. Then there was some famous big Japanese drifter from D1 visiting the island for the event. Something like that, yeah, from and my understanding. Something like yeah. that. And the shop owner threw him the keys and said, hey, do a lap in this car, lap, yeah. even though it was a customer's car. Yeah. When this guy did a lap on it, the engine gave out or something went wrong and it just came to a stop. And ever since then, it had problems. And there was an argument between the yeah. shop and a customer whether who should pay for the damage and all that kind of stuff. So The guys uh, from Okinawa that were out here at the time, you know what I'm talking about. I'm trying to find the video so I can yeah. give to Sam. It'd be so uh, cool to I find that video. there's a video out there. I remember seeing it. It was on one of the uh, local Facebook pages. If somebody has that, I'm trying to track it down, that'd be awesome. But yeah, there was, there is a video out there of this car going around the track and you see it stop. Just come to a stop? And then the event kept going yeah. throughout the entire day and the car was sitting on the infield. On the infield. As cars were just going okay. around it. So that, so that gives me a little bit of hope because yeah. I'm like, okay, maybe it didn't shoot a rod out the block or anything. There's no smoke or fire or oil or anything like that. It could be fixable. So hopefully, I mean, it doesn't bother me because mm -hmm. I mean, I can just hit up Okachan and be like, yo, I need an SR and we'll build one like and have it out in a mm -hmm. week. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, but yeah, like. I think you need to pop the hood and check it out. Yeah, I, I think hood. we should. I, I want to. I just don't know where to start. Like, so I just noticed to see on this, this is still part of the Rocket Bunny kit, by is the it? way. Yeah, that okay. side skirt is like a piece for it. So at least we got that. But like, this <laughs> was literally just cut off. One out of 12 pieces. Yeah, one out of 12 pieces. Like the bolts were just cut straight off here. So you could tell he got it off in a hurry. But uh, right here is yeah, I can't, part Slides. of me wants to put a Rocket Bunny kit back on this, mm -hmm. but I just can't do that to yeah. myself. But these wheels, man, like work my stuff. Yeah. Like this vine's growing through everything. Brembo brakes? Front and rear Brembo. Front and rear Brembos? Wait, what? Dude, what size are these wheels? Like 12, Jay? Oh my gosh. Dude, what Brembos are those? Those are huge. The mirrors? Wait. I think they're Z33 Brembo. Nah, they're fakes. Still, cool. Um, is the door open? Yes, it is. Wow. I love that the interior is painted pink. A little bit of water sat in here. You see some rust around the roll cage. Roll cage is painted, sunroof model with what looks R like never, no rust around it. Because the spec R never came with a sunroof. The no. spec S did. Spec S, yeah. So this is a spec S that was completely converted to like a spec R for all intention purposes. Yeah, Turbo title, motor. Yeah, the title was uh, yeah. trans transferred over. One thing you gotta be careful of on S15s is this point here. Always bubbles and rusts up. Doesn't matter where it is, whether it's in Okinawa or in the mainland or anywhere else in the world, there's a big trouble spot. Just like in the Evos, Evos have rust issues in the roof. S15s have this issue here. So that'll be easy. I'll get my body guy to fix that. Obviously this car is not staying blue. That just made me realize, why is it that every S15 that I've bought started out as blue so far? That's kind of ironic. And then it's gonna go pink. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna go pink, but we'll, we'll see. I got big plans for this and we'll work through it, but it's cool. It's got like a purple flake to it. Um, it's obviously very dirty. I wish you could have seen the car in its glory days. I can't wait to see some footage of it, like e either video or pictures. Like we're gonna try and dig some up and have it in time for this video, but. This is one of the most famous cars out here in Okinawa at all the meets. It was always a showstopper. Yeah, so it used to be auto, got the auto switch there. Um, some carbon wraps on things here, which is just peeling off. It's got a good head unit, nice Pioneer one. Glove box, we've got some amp fuses. I got a amp down there, that's all going to upgrade. Oh, hey yo, here starts the fruit. Wait, wiring specialties wiring harness, that's cool. Apexi Power FC, what is it? Oh, this is the, the new Jetro one. 
Yeah. Yeah, so this has the the boost controller and the um, the map sensor. So this doesn't use a, a a mass airflow sensor. So that's actually a really expensive Power FC. Hand controller's still here too. Dude, that's actually sick. Although I don't like Power FCs. I'd rather use a stock ECU yeah. tuned by Okachan than that. What else is going on up here? We've got Defi digital gauges. We've got a, ah, Dakota digital. These are cool. These allow you to get the speedo working with different transmissions. Got a new set of plugs here. That's kind of nice. I might need those in a little bit if we try to start this. Um, Defi gauge doesn't look real. Looks looks like a copy, some other random gauge. Um, damn, man, this is cool. What are these seats? Do you know anything about these? Uh, They're like custom Bride custom Sylvia man. seats. What? Look, bride, and it's got Sylvia, they Sylvia. Like the metallic backs. Yeah, carbon, uh, the fiberglass backing, the brid things. I need to talk to bride and see if these are genuine. That's super cool. I wonder if these were like special edition Sylvia ones. I've never seen anything yeah, never like seen this either. before. I wonder if Akuchan will know. There's like random AN fitting lines in here. It, for the most part, this looks really good. <laughs> Look, there's a there's a vine growing up through the boot. There's literally vines growing in here. Oh, there's an SR20 head in the back. Okay, there's another side scratch here too. All right, all right, all right, all right. We need to pop the hood. We need to look at all oh, this cobwebs under there. Oh god, look at my hand just covered in cobwebs now. Yikes! Oh, <laughs> look at that. Dude, stuck my hand under there to pull the lever. Is there a lever? Oh, here it is. All right, it's pulled. Uh, let's get the trunk too. I want to look in the trunk. Oh, this is open too. Okay. Oh, there's ants everywhere. Oh my god, we're fumigating this car. Look at all the ants. There's like ants nests in here. Dude, the seals aren't damaged though. Like rusting at all. All right, trunk is popped. Let's start with the trunk. I feel like we need to start with that. It looks like there's some goodies in there. You want me to throw the the cams and the other stuff in the in the trunk? Because I have this. Oh, you got stuff in the car? In my yeah, in my trunk. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. I got Whoa. It. Wait, there's air suspension yeah, on this? Yeah, I told you that. They're, it's bagged. It's bagged. Okay. What the hell are these batteries? Okay, so it's all air ride stuff. Coilovers. There's a suspension airlift control unit. Okay, that's cool. My first stance car, boys. There's a battery here. Oh, don't know. That's working. There's a spare SR20 DET head. It looks good because there's no cams missing from it. It's weird that it has rocket stoppers on it. That is a bit weird. So all this stuff was just like sitting in here loosely? Yeah. Oh, so you just took it out to make sure no one would steal yeah, it, yeah. right? Yeah, it was like the easy grab parts. Oh, okay, yeah. Just in case someone came out here, because yeah. none of this has been kept locked for like, a long time. I uh, engine garnet, yeah. garnish. Uh, I took the, I mean, I don't know how much this stuff is worth. And then the strut. The strut. The, you want me to throw this back on the engine? No, that's fine for now. We can just let this sit here. I don't mind, we'll just fill up the trunk. Oh, it had a tow mate yeah. thing on the engine. Oh wait, so we should probably put this back on the engine if you took the oil cap off, yeah. yeah. Wow, so there's a lot of parts in the trunk. That has me a bit worried with the head though. Hopefully, uh, I mean, it's spare parts, so I'm okay with that. Whoo! Wowzers. That's a big turbo. Yeah. Garrett, genuine Garrett with a turbo guard. A uh, Honeywell turbo. badge down there. Clean it off. It's a GTX 30, 71R by the looks of it. Wow. Yo, big wastegate down there too, tile. Okay, this is cool. Yo, it's got a Chase Base power steering relocation kit. That's nice. Yeah, you know more about these cars than obviously I do. So yeah. I wow. see the goodies, the Grady intake manifold. Yeah, Grady intake manifold. It's got a nice throttle body on there. Mission There's that, rad. Uh, the IAT sensor and the map sensor and stuff is on this, which is going to the the apexy. Uh, the apexy, which means, yeah, it, it is the good apexy. That's cool. Dude, everything's like been wrapped nice. It's got the GK Tech brake relocation kit, fuel pressure sensor. Dude, there's a lot of good stuff on this. Mishimoto Rad. Still got the clutch fan. It's a GK Tech clutch fan. Mishimoto uh, big front mount. Yeah. That thing's thick. Oh, yeah, well, that is a thick boy. Jesus, so much here. This turbo though, that's a big turbo kit. Wow. 
That's a lot of money on this. Yeah. That's so cool. It's a GTX Gen 1, not Gen 2. The blades look good. No, yeah, it still looks good. It just, it's got I mean, a I, lot of pretty sure oxidization on the alloy. That'll clean up right away. The car was built and not driven a whole lot after the thing was put yeah. together, you know? So I think, like, wait, what? Huh. This has a crazy angle kit on it, I think. Let's get down on the ground. So we've got a fair bit of surface rust going on all those parts there. But, yo. Yeah, it looks like we got some GK Tech parts here. That knuckle looks sick. Like a cut and shot knuckle with a bunch of GK Tech parts. It's got like front sway bar and all that. I mean, we're gonna have to change a lot of this stuff because uh, obviously it's been sitting here for so long and it's Okinawa, like two years, right? Yeah. And so years. all of the salt and stuff has gotten to a lot of things. So we're gonna have to treat a lot of things. But I love that it's tubbed. I mean, this is actual carbon fiber and cooling panel. Oh, really? That's cool. So there's a lot of good parts on this, so. She just well. needs a good pressure wash and that's all. Yeah, good pressure wash, <laughs> yeah, sure. Get it running right. I mean, the coolant still looks okay. It's got like water wetter in it by the looks of it. So yeah, we've picked up a car that is pretty much perfect to become what I'm gonna plan for it to be my practice, like Meihan Osaka kind of car. Slash, we're gonna take this and practice with it at Ebisu and all that kind of stuff as well. Obviously, this would need a lot of work to make it uh, street like legal and registerable again, which we can and we may look at in the future. But right now my thought process is this is going to be my like, you know, Mayhan kind of practice car. So taking a quick look at these headlights, they're very sun damaged, but they should be re recoverable. They do have a bunch of custom work done inside. You can see this like custom like neon tube that's been put in or LED tube. It's on both sides. It's not too bad. Like for the most part, the frame looks really, really good. It's all straight here, the radiator support. These tubs look like they got a bit of surface rust coming through. So we'll probably try to clean up as much as we can and get as much rust like converted on this as much as possible. But like for the most part, I mean, it's got a couple little rust spots in the usual places on air chassis, but it's really not too bad for Okinawa and sitting here for as long as it did. And we can look at the engine and VIN plate there and so let me look, SR20DE, and yes, it does have an automatic trans previously. That's what the chassis plate does, says. So I believe this has a five-speed transmission in it uh, with the S14 and S15 engine. And supposedly, I think this has forged internals too in the bottom end. It was either stroked 2.1, 2.2 or something, um, but I'll go through all the information later and once we pull it all down, we'll be able to know. But yeah, like the fuel rails, a custom, I don't know what, fuel rail that is something sports but it's got all the side feed injectors in there definitely going to be hitting up my boys at dishworks and getting that all sorted out but i hope you guys are excited i'm definitely really excited this thing is going to um probably end up giving me a lot of seat time that i need especially to understand the s chassis even more and get even more comfortable in it and move up to competitive drifting like as you guys know is my goal so i'm really excited eric's excited too so yeah, the, yeah. the previous owner of the car, it was his dream car, huge fan of the, the S15. And when I reached out and was like, hey, you know Samet? Mm. He's got an S15, he wants to take your car and turn it into a like purpose-built drift car. I was like, either we part it out, you get a little bit of cash back, or we hand it off to somebody that's gonna get the car driving again. And he's super stoked, I'm excited. Yeah, so, yeah we can't wait for this thing, man. I'm hyped, man. Just like, this just looks awesome. Like there's a lot of this stuff on here that I can just reuse and just keep it as is. I'm a bit worried about the G30, the, the GTX 30, just because that's normally a laggy turbo on this, but if it's a 2.2 liter, which would make sense why there's a bigger turbo on there, then I'd keep it. it. It would handle it and fine and it'd be super responsive. So I want to try and use as much as I can on this. I'm probably, obviously we're going to get a different aero kit. We need more appropriate wheels. I need to get rid of the air suspension and stuff. So it's more set up for drifting. But good yeah, good coilovers and stuff. But yeah, this looks like pretty much like it's it's almost ready to go, which is nice. Well, for today, I think uh, that's all we're gonna do with this thing. Um, yeah, I. There's obviously a lot of work that needs to go down, like go through this and whatnot. We got to get this to the mainland and stuff. We've already organized someone who's gonna pick this up with a tow truck and everything, actually. So we should be good. But uh, how many cases is this thing done? Oh, you gotta be joking. Guys, it has a Nismo cluster. <laughs> that is so nice. 
Oh, I'm hyped on that. I'm taking that out of this and I'm putting that in my S15. <laughs> I'll switch this with my S15 one. I want that Nismo one of mine. But yeah, this looks, this is such a good like pickup. I'm, I'm so happy. I'm glad, man. You can't get worried. a deal like this. Like, you just can't. You just can't. I was and kind of worried. I thought you were going to get out here and see it and be like, <sighs> Regardless, like, even if I find some really bad rust, like, just do a quick fix on it. Like, yeah. like I said, I'll use it as a practice car. It'll be sick. It'll be awesome. Everything we need. We'll smash Mayhan a bunch, make some awesome content and stuff like that. And, and like, even if there is some kind of catastrophic issue with the chassis, like, we can still get some use out of it. Definitely. And at least that way, it'll still get to do something. And then from that, we can put it into something else. You know what I mean? So it, parts of it would always live on, that's for sure, in anything I'm doing. I'm just really excited. It, although it does feel like I buy a lot of these kind of like abandoned cars on the channel, doesn't it? A little bit. I think you should get more though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's up? <laughs> Hit me up if you own that. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I hope you guys are really excited. This is now the second S15 for the channel. A lot of big plans. And uh, hopefully by the end of the year, this thing will be shredding at Mayhan. So uh, Casey and Shane, watch out. Your boy's coming. I was just walking over here to check out the view again and uh, found something interesting on the ground here. I can't remember if these are like 1JZ coil packs or like Evo coil packs or something. The plug looks too small. I think these are 1JZ coil packs. Yeah, it says Toyota. Interesting. <laughs> just gonna put that back down where we found it. You find it Japan, right? The things, well, yeah. There's just car parts like littered everywhere around here. It's crazy. Dude, Okinawa is, it really is like something else. I'm also like sweating my balls off. I, I'm wearing a merch plug right now. If you haven't gone to Semit.net and grabbed yourself one of these sick new 1JZ hoodies, uh, here, Jason, we gotta catch the back of the hoodie. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, see this? Semit.net, grab yourself one. But if you live in Okinawa, it might be a little too warm for it because I'm sweating right now. <laughs> but go support the channel, head to Semit.net and grab yourself some merch. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go check out this view one more time. It is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful view, beautiful car after we build it in a little bit, but so beautiful. Okinawa is amazing. We're going to come down here a lot more. I'm only here for a few days right now, um, but I've got a bunch of content planned with Jason and some cool stuff around here that a lot of locals know about. I'm going to show you guys. But for now, guys, I hope you're excited about the abandoned S15 build. It's going to be a new playlist on the channel and a new series coming. In the next month or so, this will be transported up to us at the shop. So in that time, we've got a lot of stuff to get done at the workshop to get this on the kind of like the back burner and uh, figure out what we need to do with it. But hope you're excited. Smash that like button, write us a comment and subscribe. Tell me what abandoned car would you love to find in Japan and save and rebuild yourself and restore. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out. Ciao,